Yuck and I travel to Carmarthenshire in southwest Wales to show you a characterful and very peaceful Welsh cottage from the 18th century. It is so exciting to finally share a cottage here in Wales with you because I think you will really love it. It's so beautiful. This is Brynigl, which is Welsh for Clear Hill. Excuse my Welsh pronunciation. And this rustic cottage was hand built by rural farm workers in 1755. I honestly can't wait to show you this beautiful, very authentic and atmospheric 18th century Welsh cottage. To the right is the beautiful living room and as you can see it has an original ingle nook fireplace with a traditional cast iron range. You feel like stepping back in time and because the weather today is quite miserable, it's very windy and we have heavy rain, this is just perfect. We met Dorian, the owner, this morning, such a lovely chap, and he bought this cottage 20 years ago, and what he did to this place is simply amazing. He kept so many original features because we said this morning, many people buy old properties and rip everything out, and these properties just lose their charm and character, but here it's quite the opposite. As you can see here in this corner of the living room is a gorgeous square Victorian table. Absolutely love this. And here is a settle that Dorian actually rebuilt and I don't know about you but this doesn't feel like a holiday cottage this feels like a proper almost historic home look at this he's always on the hunt Dorian is always on the hunt for beautiful antiques and original items really love this spoon rack I think this cottage is all about the details, which I will be filming for you later as well and include in the video, of course. Sitting here is absolutely wonderful, especially on a day like this. Love the floor here in this cottage. It's absolutely perfect, if you ask me. In this corner of the living room is a huge settle actually and here is a 17th century cord cupboard with lovely Staffordshire dogs. I do have a huge passion for Staffordshire dogs. Not everyone likes them but I do love them. Simply perfect. Now, next door, here, behind this door, is the bathroom. Let's have a look. Okay, I think this should work without turning on the light. I just love the lime wash walls. Looks wonderful. So here you can see the basin and here and here in the corner is the bathtub. It's very nice. I really like the windows in here as well. So you can see we have two windows here and these are 
well, I don't know if you call them shutters, but I would. This is the view today. Very dull and grey, but it's fine. You can get cosy in here. So you can see the living room is actually quite spacious. I mean, the cottage itself has wonderful proportions. But now I must show you my favourite room because when we arrived last night and stepped inside, I said to you, I love this space. So this is the parlour and here you have such a gorgeous mantle. I just, I don't know, I love how it's decorated. Now the mantle and this clock, this is well slate and slate is such an authentic material because if you go to North Wales for example, North Wales is rich with slate. You find quarries there to this day. I do love the Staffordshire dogs. This is an original photograph that Dorian found here in this cottage. The print here is by a North Wales artist called Kiffin Williams, I think. I checked out his work, it's amazing. And I love this, this vignette. Also the clock here just suits this space so much. And here, you can sit here. We had breakfast this morning here. Yerk said, do you know what? You could use this space for filming. And I said, that's so true. If you get bored, you can see lots of games, lots of, oh, sorry, <laughs> lots of country living magazines. And check out this view from here. Isn't this, ah, I love this so much. We also couldn't believe, oh, look, I don't know if you can see it, there's a squirrel and you can spot daffodils. We were so surprised because we are here in southwest Wales and we don't have, well we currently don't have the daffodils in bloom in Cheshire. It's very early isn't it? In this corner of the parlour is a beautiful potboard dresser with pewter plates, wonderful jugs, I fell in love with these two Staffordshire figures and also here lots of original utensils that Dorian sourced. This here is a so-called Salem print which was once in a Victorian calendar and it's a very traditional image that you could always find in a Welsh cottage. It shows women and men in a church. It's a beautiful print, I must say. Hope you can see this one here. I really love that. Next door is the very spacious kitchen. It's quite surprising if you ask me. Look at this space. So, very big kitchen and dining room with an antique sycamore dining table. This space reminds me a little bit of a cottage that we used to live in. Also in Wales, that was before we bought our place. We just rented it and we had kitchen, dining room and living room in a space like this. It was quite nice, but nothing that we wanted to live in forever, but it was nice to rent. So you can see it's such a big room 
and my favorite feature here in this room is this red Rayburn stove. It's a gorgeous statement piece. I really love the red. Another very big bench here in the corner. Wow. This space really surprised us. It's so big. Now, let's go upstairs because that's a very nice room or a nice space as well. What you can see here is original. So Dorian kept this and we think it's absolutely wonderful that he did. Right, to be careful. Isn't this wonderful? It's quite airy and spacious. I really like it. So the bed is an antique cast iron bed. And as you can see, it's not very big, but because it's still winter, we are totally fine with it. We just cuddle and snuggle up and it's wonderful. The room here is so surprising, I think, as well. As you can see, lots of antique pieces, a big antique chest of drawers. These chaps make me laugh right away. <laughs> this is a typical Welsh quilt. Here is a big antique chest. Also here the paintwork, the green paintwork is original. And the bedroom here has an interlocking second bedroom with a traditional Welsh box bed. So the cottage is for four people, but I would say this small bed would be great for children. So one or two children would be quite happy in here, I think. And this room also has a vanity. And this is the view from here. We just love all the exposed wooden beams. So much character. 
also love the the old bench here in front of the bed. Now, so many of you know that I'm always on the hunt for very special holiday cottages here in the UK that we can show on our YouTube channel. And this is how I stumbled upon Brinny Law because it was featured on the House and Garden website. And then I saw that you can stay here. I then checked out the website where you can book it and it's called Under the Thatch. I couldn't believe that I wasn't familiar with that website because I research so much on the internet and I didn't know it. I wasn't familiar with it. They have such wonderful holiday cottages with very special interiors, just very characterful. So throughout Wales, if you're looking for lovely holiday cottages in Wales, I can really recommend it. And I think you can also find lovely places to stay in Europe. So Honestly, highly recommended. Glad I found it. I hope you enjoyed the cottage tour. Now, I think it has so much character. Uh, yes. And even today, with all the rain and everything, it's still nice inside. I think it screams coziness, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it screams coziness. <laughs> so, because the rain is so heavy today, we can't go outside. I think we might be able to do that tomorrow. Yeah. And now, what now? Tea. And cake. cake. Because what do the British say? Drink tea, eat cake and carry on. Yeah, and that's what we'll do. Exactly. Now, we have to admit, this Victoria sponge cake isn't homemade. We no. bought it. But... It will still taste excellent. Yes. Okay, we can continue with a very relaxed evening. As you can see, I'm in my PJs. Yes. Yuck, Yuck still wears his regular clothes. Why? But I'm relaxed inside. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? What we really like about this place is what makes it so peaceful yeah. and quiet. No Wi-Fi and no television. Yeah. I think because you have that in your everyday life, and sometimes you just have to get away from it all. Yeah. And we found this, I don't know, it's probably quite an old version. Trivial Pursuit. Yes. I don't know from, we probably don't know anything. No. I don't know, but it's just for fun. So, volume six. Oh, wow. Not eins. Okay. Um, blau sind Leute. Dann gehe ich da mal hin. Um. Oh, you should use, know that. Really? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What principality is home to most native speakers of Sumric? Yeah. Wales. Yes, that's Yay! Wales. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you will know that. How many satellites 
does a GPS receiver need to hear from to determine its position and altitude? <laughs> Two. Oh, oh. Three. Well, is it two? Is it three? Is it four? Is it five? Pick one. Four. <laughs> Never did try. Yeah, no. It says four. Four. Mm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. As you can see, we're finally able to go for a little walk. Because it stopped raining. Yes. Yesterday, honestly, we couldn't believe it. Still this morning, it was pouring with rain. I said to Jörg, will we be able to, to get home? It was absolutely torrential. Yeah, I was already thinking of buying a ship. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of water around the cottage. It's crazy. An accident today with our drone. Yes, I was filming Kirsten as she yes. was walking towards the cottage mm -hmm. and I was under a tree yeah. and all of a sudden the drone went up and into a tree. I could, I was walking and just concentrating on, on walking and I heard a noise. Yeah. I, I thought that's not right. No, and the drone got stuck in the tree. Yes. And I managed to get it out of a tree mm -hmm. but then it just crashed into the ground and broke one of its arms. Yeah. We hope, or do you think you can save it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if, um, yeah, if it's... I think you might be shouting. able, <laughs> I think you might be able to get like spare parts for yeah. the leg. Yeah. Fingers crossed, because that would be not good. Yeah, but yeah. probably it's kaput. No. I thought you were always positive. Yes, I am. So yeah. I might be able to repair it. Yeah, keep your fingers crossed because usually we, you are always so careful. Yeah. Never take risks. No, and I didn't do anything. It just no. said, I mean the battery was low and then it just said uh, return back and then it just went up. Yeah, I hope you can save it. We'll yeah. see. We'll keep you posted. Okay, that's our dinner. Now, that's gluten-free puff pastry with some chicken breast inside and pesto of course tomatoes it's very easy to make and some beans it's a very delicious meal so dinner's ready I've been making this dish for years it's a Jamie Oliver dish it's very good This was the first Welsh cottage we showed you, and I hope you loved it as much as we did. Yes, I hope so too. A very peaceful and rustic cottage, I think, if you fancy an escape like 
a slower pace of life, that's the perfect escape. Yes. yes. So, as always, we'll see you again very soon. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Bye. 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 Bye.